Welcome back to Press Here. I'm Scott McGrew. Earlier this month, electronics retailer Best Buy did something unusual. It worked out a deal to put on-demand movie technology into many of the products it sells. Good afternoon. My name is Russell, and I am a wilderness explorer in Tribe 54. It is a huge break for a company called Sonic Solutions, which has been offering Hollywood movies for download over the Internet for years. Problem is, there weren't many places to watch them. Unlike Netflix, which had worked out deals with a lot of different hardware manufacturers, and unlike Apple, which put movies on your iPod, the Cinema Now service was largely stuck on your computer until Best Buy, the nation's largest electronic retailer, inked a deal. Now, every TV, every DVD player bearing its in-house brand, Insignia, will come ready to play. Sonic Solutions CEO Dave Haviger's signature on that agreement. He is joined by my colleagues Maggie Shields of the BBC, Nancy Blair of USA Today. Um, getting movies to the consumer in the living room is every company's dream in this space. It is. Are you ahead or behind? I've certainly leaned towards your behind because of the complex, the complexity of getting the movie that last few inches to the television. Uh, we think we're ahead. We've, uh, we've been doing this now for uh, a decade. So we've, uh, not just delivery uh, in an electronic form through an internet connection, but uh, through a physical disc. So we work with the studios to deliver new releases, uh, DVDs, um, and historically, uh, on disc to the living room. So we have a lot of experience doing this. And uh, it's been a long journey for the last several years as Blu-ray really was supposed to be an electronic delivery in it, uh, of movies in addition to discs. So we, we feel that uh, the three years' worth of hard work is going to pay off. You've been deeply involved in Blu-ray through, yeah. through Roxio. Uh, what do you, is this a format, and we'll, I, I hate to take a left turn here, but you mentioned it. It's a format that is coming as you and other companies are so busy going the broadband route. Is, is, will Blu-ray end up being sort of that middle ground that never went anywhere as we rush towards this Internet on demand sort of thing? I think it's already, it's already got enough inertia and it's got enough foothold that it will be something. And, it, and I think a lot of people would argue that it is something now. So I don't think... Uh, Deep Blu-ray is a failure or goes away, but certainly uh, there is an accelerant to what we're seeing with digital uh, distribution. That that the studios have a strong incentive to move that way, and it's a better customer experience. So I, I do think you'll see a dramatic ramp in uh, the ease of use and delivery that way. And is the Best Buy deal a kind of tipping point for you? Because when I think about name recognition, for example, you do kind of think about Netflix first. It's kind of yeah, ubiquitous they do that a, way. They do a good job and. Uh, certainly have a great company and service. Uh, we focus, where Netflix focus historically on the, uh, in their digital distribution side, the older catalog titles, our real focus and primary driver of the business is new content. So uh, if you go and buy, you can go buy Up, Star Trek, Bruno, those movies are available uh, digitally through our service where they aren't with others. As they are available on DVD, Correct. which may end up being a, a battle for Netflix because, again, it has the older catalog, but it may not be able to get this, it, the, the tighter the relationship with the studio, the faster you're going to get that content, and you have that very tight relationship. Uh, well, look, studios um, care about uh, good experiences for customers, technology that delivers at channels, and uh, ultimately a check. So <laughs> but, uh, I don't think our advantage in this space is you know, anything to do with our uh, historical relationships with them. We, well, I mean, but there, there are companies like the, the Red Boxes, the DVD right. uh, rental machines, Netflix, in which uh, there's been talk that the studio would not give them the DVD. I mean, when Up comes out, I want to see Up that day. I don't know why, but, yeah, I mean, it's a great movie, but there's that I want to see it now, the new release. And there may be in the future some companies such as yourself that are going to have it before the Red Box and the Netflix. And, the, and, and that would uh, give you a big jump. It would. I think certainly the studios um, have an, an the same goal in mind, you know, high-quality content. Uh, delivered seamlessly and easily. And so we certainly know that it's easy to buy and rent a movie with a couple clicks. And um, technically, the, the world's evolved to the point where it makes sense. And people like Best Buy and others are bringing some order to this chaotic market where, you know, there's various devices and hardware, but there really wasn't a good format. So we're pretty confident that, that the 
high quality delivery of a movie the day it's available is, is going to be successful. Because that seems to be key, because uh, I agree with Scott. You want to see the movie now, when everyone's talking about it and it's grabbing the headlines and it's kind of the water cooler uh, topic of conversation. Because I know that, you know, having ki a kid, for example, I don't get to the cinema as much as I used to, right. and I, then the movie just goes past me. It's forget about it. I never get round to actually catching up with it again. So I think that's going to be key, surely. The, uh, go ahead. Uh, I agree. Uh, fundamentally, the, the, the windows exist because there's demand during that period of time. And we know that um, through our tools that we dev develop for the studios on DVD, that um, new releases are the thing people are willing to pay money for and transact for. Can you describe for us what the Best Buy deal will, will look like if we're walking into a store and, and, and seeing one of these televisions? How, how, will, how will we use it? Uh, our goal, uh, whether through Best Buy or, or all of our partners, is to enable every game device, cell phone, TV, Blu-ray, anything that has a web connection. And I'm pretty confident that it will wake up a year from now and that will be the case. And uh, we've already you know, done that with LG and Samsung and TiVo and uh, Nintendo Wii and others. So um, I'm pretty confident you'll find that, that you walk into a Best Buy and you will see, um, for the most part, all those devices seamlessly connecting up to our cloud uh, to rent movies. and those movies will move with you from device to device. And essentially like Gmail for video. Uh, if you think about your Gmail account, it doesn't really matter if you're on a Dell or an HP or a Macintosh. Your, your account's always there waiting for you. What, and TiVo's a good example of this because in order to succeed, whether you're Netflix or, or CinemaNow or anyone, you've got to be able to convince my dad to try it. Uh, right. it. It needs to be seamless and easy and not complicated and not a whole lot to fill out. TiVo, the world's easiest device. What's your... How many people who buy a TiVo try a Cinema Now film? Uh, we're finding a lot. We're finding that the attach rates, uh, we haven't given out exact numbers, but in our last earnings call we said that um, we're seeing in the range of 3%, um, and that's growing. And so uh, that's a good attach rate um, when you look at the amount of units that ship with the Well, there's just player. a lot to, to, to watch. I mean, there's there, there there is. a lot of offers. A lot of offers, and um, I think your dad's going to find it's a lot easier than um, uh, it has been in the past. And I think that uh, what I find with my kids is they're, you know, my 10 year old doesn't have too much trouble figuring out how to pitch play on the remote. Uh, getting in a car and running a disc isn't necessarily easy. But uh, uh, fortunately, with people like Geek Squad as well from Best Buy, you're going to find that there's a very large effort of um, marketing, uh, sales, and education that's going to take place in the next several months. And I presume it doesn't really cost you that much more because it, it, you're no. going to hopefully Software. sell so many of these. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So in terms of buying the device, it's not going to no, be a No, in fact, I don't think you'll price. see a, a difference at all in price. I think you're going to find that you will pay a little more for wireless connectivity on a device. And sure. that, although that's now the, you know, the part for a wireless devices in the five to six dollar range where it was tripled at a few years ago. Well, and that's the magic tipping point that you needed where the, the cheapy DVD player uh, uh, has wireless connection to my to my home network. It's not the high-end DVD player that's right. doing this. It's any DVD player, any TV, any device is, is able to do that. Phones, TVs, games, you're going to find that the wireless component is so cheap that uh, your coffee maker is going to be connected. I mean, it's really going it, to, it's, it's already happening. And that quickly means you have devices that are very easily connected and can, you know, deliver content. Dave Habiger of uh, Sonic Solutions, we look forward to seeing your devices in stores. Thank uh, you. We'll be back in just a moment.